Hi everyone, I'm Kelly and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you how I create this cloud skin makeup look. Cloud skin makeup is a beauty trend that aims to create a soft matte, ethereal and glow from within complexion reminiscent of a cloud. This makeup technique focuses on achieving a healthy, natural looking finish. So I'm gonna start with a well-prepared base by applying the Umbrella's Moisturizer as a hydrating primer on my clean face to create a smooth canvas for my makeup. Next, I use the Glossier Future Dew to give my skin a healthy glow instead of using a highlighter later, which will help create a very natural look. I use two pumps and apply it on my entire face. Don't use too much, it can make your skin look greasy. Then I will give it some time to absorb and I fill in my brow in the meantime. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Ebony. I will skip the brow gel today so the brows won't look too polished. To even out my skin tone without creating a heavy or a kicky look, I'm using the Ease Drop Skin Tint in shade 8 from Fenty Beauty. You can choose any lightweight foundation or a BB or a CC cream that matches your skin tone and is not too thick or heavy to avoid looking unnatural and cover on the glow. I apply and blend it out with my finger first then using a damp sponge to even out and absorb the excess product. Don't forget to blend around the hairline and the neck. This technique is the best when I want a thin layer of sheer coverage to let my skin shine through. If you want more coverage, just apply using a foundation brush. After that, I used the Josie Moran Argan Oil Full Coverage Concealer to cover any blemishes and dark circles. For dark circles, I use a beauty blender to blend out so it's not too thick and kick up later. But for blemishes, I use a concealer brush as I need more coverage for those areas. Next step. I will bronze my face with this shade in the e.l.f. cream bronzer palette. I take some on the back of my hand and warm it up before applying. This cream bronzer is not too dark and blends seamlessly to the skin. This will bring some dimension back to my face. I also put some on the sides of my nose and my eyelids to give it a little bit of color there as I don't use any eyeshadow today. Now for blush, I opt for a cream blush in a soft natural shade. This is the soft pink liquid blush in shade Hope from Rare Beauty. I apply it to the apples of my cheeks, blending it upward towards my temples. The cream formula will add a healthy flush to my complexion, contributing to the cloud-like effect and it always looks more natural than a powder one. I also put some on the bridge of my nose. Then I use the beauty blender to blend out the edges and make them look seamlessly. Next, I will set my face with the Fix Plus setting spray from MAC. This is usually the last step in my makeup routine, but I do it a bit differently today and I will tell you why later. Now I curl my lashes and put on some mascara. This is Lash Plus Clean Volume Waterproof Mascara from Covercurl. And that's it for the eyes. I keep it simple because we are focusing on the base today. Going back to the base, I use all cream products on my face today to give my complexion the most natural glowy look. It's time to set out the shine with some powder. 
as I want to maintain the glowing finish, I'm gonna use the Kosas Cloud Set Setting Powder. I'm using a fluffy powder brush and gently tap it all over my face. This powder has a light coverage with a very natural finish. It helps mattify the shine without compromising the glow. That's why I choose it for this makeup look and it's one of my favorite powders. Usually I have to use a setting spray to melt the makeup and make it less powdery. But after using this powder, my skin still looks natural, not powdery at all. That's why I can use the setting spray before it and not worry about the cakiness. Besides, it helps achieve the soft matte finish that I am for. Together with the flushing blush, they create a perfect cloud skin finish. Lastly, let's wrap up this video with a soft matte lipstick to match the whole look. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in shade Sexy Sienna. It's a golden coral shade and it's perfect for summer days. I don't use a lip liner today, so I just use a brush to smudge out the lipstick and create a blur lip look. I really enjoy wearing this look for summer. I hope you guys love it too. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!